Biologists spot giant python, you won't believe what they found inside. Deep in the sweltering, labyrinthine wilderness of the Florida Everglades, two wildlife biologists on a routine survey stumbled upon an incredible and tragic sight. Lying motionless in a patch of sunlight was an enormous 18-foot-long Burmese python, one of the largest predators in this entire ecosystem. But the giant snake was not hunting. It was dying. A massive, unnaturally shaped bulge was distorting its midsection, a lump so large it had left the powerful constrictor completely immobilized. This was the beginning of a bizarre medical mystery and a dangerous, high-stakes rescue that would reveal a shocking and completely unexpected secret, a secret that had fallen from the sky, hidden inside the belly of the giant beast. But before we start our story, smash that like button, make sure you're subscribed, and hit that notifications bell so you won't miss any of our new, incredible stories. To understand this story, we must first enter the strange, wild, and often dangerous world of the Florida Everglades. The Everglades are not just a swamp, they are a unique and fragile ecosystem a vast, slow-moving river of grass that is unlike anywhere else on Earth. But this primeval wilderness is facing a modern-day biological crisis, an invasion by a formidable and highly successful foreign predator, the Burmese python. These giant constrictors, native to Southeast Asia, were first introduced to the Everglades in the 1980s, likely as exotic pets that either escaped or were intentionally released into the wild when they grew too large for their owners to handle. The population exploded after 1992 when Hurricane Andrew destroyed a python breeding facility, releasing hundreds more into the wild. In the warm, wet, and prey-rich environment of the Everglades, the pythons found a perfect new home, and they began to take over. The impact of this invasive species has been nothing short of catastrophic. Burmese pythons are apex predators, and they have decimated the populations of native mammals in the Everglades. A 2019 study found that in areas with high python populations, the raccoon population had dropped by 99.3%, the opossum population by 98.9%, and the bobcat population by 87.5%. They are eating the Everglades alive. The pythons themselves are masterpieces of evolution. They are ambush predators using their beautiful, intricate camouflage to disappear into the landscape, where they will lie motionless for days, waiting for an unsuspecting animal to pass by. They kill not with venom, but with pure, suffocating power, coiling their muscular bodies around their prey and squeezing until its heart stops. But their most incredible feature is their ability to consume enormous meals. Like the anaconda, their jaws are connected by super-flexible ligaments, allowing them to unhinge their jaw and swallow prey that is far larger than their own head. They have been documented eating animals as large as deer and even alligators. After such a massive meal, a python will find a safe, warm place to rest for weeks or even months as its incredibly powerful digestive system slowly breaks down its meal. It is this process of swallowing prey whole that is the key to our story. Our story's protagonists are two wildlife biologists, a seasoned veteran named Dr. Eris and his young assistant, Ben. Their job is to patrol the vast Everglades, tracking and studying the invasive python population. On a hot, humid afternoon, while navigating their small skiff through a remote network of mangrove tunnels, they spotted something on a small, sunny island. It was the massive, coiled body of a Burmese python. But as they got closer, they realized the snake was not moving. It was not basking or sleeping in a normal way. It was completely rigid, and a massive, unnaturally shaped bulge was stretching its midsection to a near-bursting point. The bulge was not the normal, oblong shape of a swallowed deer or alligator. The two biologists immediately knew the snake was in critical distress. Whatever it had swallowed, it was unable to digest it, and the object was now causing a fatal blockage. As conservationists, they were faced with a difficult choice. This was an invasive species, a creature they were tasked with controlling, but they were also scientists who valued all life. They made a decision. They would attempt to capture the massive, powerful snake and transport it back to their research facility for an emergency surgical procedure. What followed was an incredibly tense and dangerous operation. An 18-foot-long python is an immensely powerful and unpredictable animal. With extreme caution, 
The two men approached the giant snake. It took the combined strength of both men to wrestle the massive, muscular reptile and guide it into a large, secure transport container. The first part of the high-stakes rescue was complete, but the real mystery remained. What in the world had this python swallowed that was so large, so strange, and so indigestible that it was now killing the giant predator from the inside out. Back at their small remote research facility, a makeshift operating theater was quickly assembled. The two biologists, now joined by a specialized exotic animal veterinarian who had been called in to lead the surgery, carefully prepared their patient. Anesthetizing an 18-foot-long, several-hundred-pound reptile is an incredibly risky and delicate procedure. After several tense minutes, the massive python was finally unconscious. The surgeon carefully reached into the snake's digestive tract, located the object, and began the slow, painstaking process of extracting it. Finally, with a great deal of effort, she managed to pull it free. As she placed the object on the surgical tray, the entire team stared at it in a state of utter, baffled silence. It was not a bag of tools. It was not a piece of a boat. It was a complex, metallic, box-like object. It was a piece of advanced, scientific equipment. The surgery itself was a success. The vet carefully stitched up the incision, and the python was moved to a secure enclosure to begin its long recovery. The biologists, meanwhile, turned their full attention to the bizarre object they had just pulled from the belly of the beast. They found a series of identification numbers and the name of a government agency printed on a metal plate the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. They now knew who the object belonged to, but that only deepened the mystery. What was a piece of NOAA, weather equipment, doing in the middle of the Everglades? And how on earth did it end up inside a python? This is where the story shifts, from a biological rescue to a scientific detective story. The answer lies in a global scientific program that happens every single day, completely unseen by most of us. Twice a day, at precisely the same time, from nearly 900 locations all over the world, scientists from the National Weather Service, which is part of NOAA, release weather balloons. These are not the simple party balloons you might imagine. They are large, latex or neoprene balloons filled with hydrogen or helium, and attached to them is a small, lightweight, and disposable box of scientific instruments called a radiozond. This radiozond is a high-tech miniature weather station equipped with sensors to measure atmospheric pressure, temperature, and humidity as the balloon rises through the atmosphere, ascending at a rate of about 1,000 feet per minute the radiozond constantly transmits its data back to a ground station. The balloon will continue to rise for about 90 minutes, reaching an altitude of over 20 miles or more than 100,000 feet high into the stratosphere. Tens of thousands of these radiozondes fall back to Earth every single year. Most of them land in the ocean or in remote, unpopulated areas and are never seen again, but occasionally one of them lands in a place where it can be found and, in this case, had parachuted directly into the hunting ground of an apex predator. The biologists contacted the National Weather Service, gave them the serial number from the device, and the final pieces of the puzzle clicked into place. The biologists theorized that the python, a creature that relies on movement to detect its prey, had likely seen the brightly colored parachute drifting down through the trees and had mistaken it for a bird or a small mammal. Acting on pure, predatory instinct, it had struck, swallowing the entire indigestible piece of scientific equipment whole. The story of the Everglades python is a powerful and bizarre testament to the strange and unexpected ways that our technological world and the wild ancient world can collide. It is the story of a creature that, in swallowing what it thought was a simple meal, had actually swallowed a messenger from the edge of space. But most of all, it is a story of the dedication of two scientists who, when faced with a suffering animal, even a dangerous and invasive one, chose compassion. And in doing so, they not only saved the life of a magnificent creature, but they also solved one of the strangest medical mysteries in the history of the Everglades.